Hello all. Recently Qualcomm Technologies acquired Arduino and released new Arduino Q with the power of Qualcomm Dragon Wing processor running Debian Linux. Just like Raspberry Pi 4, it can run rather operating system. You know R4 Wi-Fi which is 32-bit processor but uh, Q is SOC system on chip and it has got MCU also STM32 MCU along with SOC and it has got uh, 2 GB RAM, 4 GB RAM version is also in future release and Qualcomm SOC system on chip and at the back side you have a eMMC embedded multimedia card NAND flash to store the operating system so there is no need of a SD card slot and also STM32 which is running Zephyr Arctos is also there as MCU now let us explore this uh, excellent board this Arduino Q is a hybrid combining the best of both worlds. Qualcomm six system on chip. This is a SOC QRB2210 A and GPU acceleration capable and it is capable of capable of running OS like Ubuntu and also A applications and handling high level of tasks. It also includes a microcontroller which is at the back side of the board. On the front side you can see this Qualcomm which is SOC. On the back side, there is a STM chip. This includes a microcontroller STM32 U585, which has access to UART, GPU, SPI, etc. All these are integrated under the Arduino core, enabling to use classic functions like digital read, write, and pin mode, and other functions. This pinout pinout is identical to the previous versions so that all shields are uh, fully compatible with this new version with this new SOC version that is uh, capable of running OS this Qualcomm uh, QRB2210 is a quad core ARM Cortex A53 processor running at uh, 2 GHz equipped with uh, GPU which is AD Reno, Adreno 702 845 MHz capable of 3D graphic acceleration and the microcontroller STM32 U585 features ARM Cortex M33 core running up to 160 MHz with 2 MB flash memory and 786 KB of SRAM. It runs Zephyr OS, uh, not Arduino core, that is uh, uh, Zephyr OS, providing a secure and efficient platform for uh, low power embedded applications. Embedded applications is run by this Zephyr OS and wireless connectivity is provided by this uh, chip which is WCBN3536A. This is the radio module provides uh, dual band Wi-Fi 2.4 and uh, uh, 5 gigahertz and uh, it also has Bluetooth 5.1 connectivity. There is also onboard antenna and you can also connect external antenna here. And the memory, the board features 16 GB. The 32 GB memory version is also uh, in the uh, in future. It will be released. Now it is 16 GB eMMC. <coughs> On the back side, you can see the eMMC chip. This is the Kingston eMMC chip. eMMC is embedded multimedia card. It is a type of flash memory uh, used in portable devices like smartphones and tablets but it is implemented in this uh, uh, Arduino Q embedded multimedia card eMMC it is 16 GB version as there is a eMMC the operating system is st stored in this eMMC and no need of SD card unlike uh, Raspberry Pi there is no SD card slot SD card slot is not there and the operating system is loaded onto this eMMC flash drive. It will boot up from this uh, uh, chip and no external SD card is required. This is advantage over Raspberry Pi. Apart from this eMMC, it has got a 2GB LPDDR4 RAM. At the front side, you can see this RAM. This is 2GB version. 4GB version is not released. This model is uh, so 16 GB eMMC with 2 GB RAM. 
delivering fast memory access and reliable storage for embedded applications. The multimedia codec IC is uh, uh, here. It is ANX7625 multimedia codec which enables video and audio output through the onboard USB-C connector. There is only one USB-C connector which is uh, through which you can provide power as well as uh, it handles the high speed interface for display and sound transmission in an embedded application. The power management IC is here. This is uh, uh, Qualcomm PM4145. It is a power management integrated circuit to meet the demands of uh, the connected IoT devices. There is also a matrix LED column that is 13 column and 8 rows total 104 LEDs capable of displaying uh, data just uh, it works like uh, uh, some I2C displays and then uh, the onboard there is uh, four, there are totally four power rails 5 volt 3.8 volt 3.3 and 1.8 volt this is the A1 A1 JCTL it carries processor control signals in the 1.8 volt domain. For updating OS, you will be uh, looping this 2 pin and then update the OS. That will we'll see in the next video. These rails, these rails are at 1.8 volt reference. And here there is a RXTX. You can connect it to USB to TTL uh, for a console uh, display. But remember, this is 1.8 volt level. And then the A2, this is the A2, A2 is J digital, it provides 3.3 uh, volt IO uh, alongside the MCU signal banks. This is not 5 volt level, all are 3.3 volt, this is J digital. And then the A3, at the bottom is the A3, this is the A3 is analog, J analog, it provides 3.3 uh, volt level. And it uh, has also a power pin uh, that is 3.3 uh, volt, 5 volt and V in also is there. You can power up the board in three ways. One is the using C adapter, 5 volt 3 amps. Other one is the V in up to uh, 24 volt you can provide input. The power management IC will take care of the conversion. And then you have the 5 volt here 5 volt you can provide input so three ways of uh, powering up 5 volt v in and then c connector and there is also a qw i2c this is a4 which is at 3.3 volt and uh, you can directly connect i2c devices you can plug in the i2c devices directly here and uh, jspa a5 this is the jspa a5 uh, this carries 5 volt USB V bus. This has 5 volt supply, but the SPA signals are at 3.3 volt. It uh, provides SPA pins. There is a STM32 SPA pins are 5 volt tolerant, while I outputs uh, drive only 3.3 volt. Uh, at the back side, uh, you have two connectors. That is a B1 and a B2. This is uh, J -MIS, J J MISC and uh, uh, J Media. J Media is connected to SOC logic level at 1.8 volt, and J MISC is uh, pins are connected to microcontroller logic level 3.3 volt. This is for uh, you know Q carrier expansion signal integrity that uh, we will see in the in uh, future videos. The power LED is near the USB. This is the power LED and at the right side there are four more LEDs. One, two, three, four. QRB, one, two. And uh, this is for uh, QRB access, that is uh, system on chip access, these two LEDs. And STM32 uh, access is this three and four LEDs. To code this Arduino Q, do not use the classic Arduino IDE. You have to download AppLab IDE, which is the IDE for Q to build hybrid applications that combine classic Arduino sketch with Python code running on Linux. Download this uh, uh, Arduino Q, AppLab Q, and then install it and open the AppLab Q.
it will wait for the board to connect now connect the your uh, arduino q board using the c cable to the pc once it is connected it will uh, wait for some time and then uh, once it is uh, boot loaded you will see the arduino symbol and then the top, blue led on the top it will be allotted a port now you can open the uh, arduino q it will ask for the credentials you have to provide the name of the board and then password and uh, network credentials also you have to provide the local wi-fi for updating the uh, app lab queue once it is done open this you will you will see this welcome screen on the top left corner you can see the apps examples and then bricks bricks uh, the bricks it is a new name for app developing apps inside the uh, app lab in future videos we will see all the this bricks now let us try the led ex blink example open the led blink example this uh, you can see this example is a combination of classic Arduino sketch with python code now click on run it will take some time for compiling and then downloading it is not like a, a classic Arduino ID. It will take some more time for uh, compiling. And once it is uploaded, you can see the LED 3, that is uh, STM32. There are four LEDs at the right side, uh, 3 and 4 for STM32. So third LED starts blinking according to the code. To stop the uh, blinking, you can click on stop on the App Lab. Uh, IDE and then proceed with further examples in future videos we'll see how to update and how to write brick apps thank you for watching